So if you're in the U.S. and you own a Mac, this is what your keyboard probably looks like. But if you're learning Spanish, at some point you're going to want to type in Spanish. And one of the ways to get accents on is to switch your keyboard over to a Spanish keyboard. So we have to do two things. First, we want to install this little toggle. And then I'm going to show you how to write the accents. So step one, come up to the Apple menu. And then we're going to come down to System Preferences. Once in here, find Language and Region. And then come down to Keyboard Preferences because we want to add that second keyboard. On the bottom of your screen, go ahead and click Show Input Menu. And that's what's going to give us the little flag to toggle back and forth. And then click the plus so that we can add the Spanish keyboard. So scroll down till we find Spanish. And then it's going to give you two options. I'm going to recommend that you use the Spanish ISO option. Click Add and Close. So now you're all done. That was a one-time install. And now every time you log on, you're going to see the flags and you can switch back and forth. Now, if you wanted, you could add three or four or five other keyboards, but today I want to focus on how do we go ahead and type with this keyboard. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do are place accents. So if you look on your keyboard, on the right hand side where the apostrophe and the quote sign is, touch and release one time, and then touch your vowel. And that's going to put an accent. So touch and release the apostrophe one time, and then touch your vowel. You can do the same thing with uppercase letters, vowels. Touch and release one time, then hold down shift in your vowel. So it's basically the same way, you just need to do shift after you touch and release the accent sign. The next thing you might want to be able to do is put those two little dots on top of a letter. And in Spanish, you're going to use this very infrequently and really only on the E. So to do this, you're going to hold down shift and touch the apostrophe once or the accent sign, release, and then your vowel. So you hold down shift and the accent, release, and then your vowel. Next we have the ñ, and the ñ is right next to the L where the colon and the semicolon used to be, and to make it uppercase, just shift and ñ. The period is the period, but if you do shift period, you'll get the, the colon, and the comma is the comma, but if you do shift comma, you'll get the semicolon. All right, now we have the exclamation points. If you hit the plus equal sign, you'll get the upside down exclamation point, and then shift one will give you the normal one. Our question marks are right next to the zero, the dash and the plus, and you can just go back and forth with those. The quotation marks are shift two, and then the at symbol in the hashtag, you're going to click your option key and hold that down, and then two or option and three for the hashtag. So right now you can see when I hold down the option, you get a whole bunch of different choices. All right, so with that, you can go ahead and write in Spanish and you're gonna be able to write a lot quicker by doing it this way. So now, every time you log on, you can switch from English to Spanish and you can do this in any program that you can type in. Suerte.